Good evening, viewers, and welcome again to another edition of the Gender Dimension. As you know, the Gender Dimension is a very special and unique talk show which is designed to delve quite deeply into our collective consciousness so that together as a people we can better understand our social reality and in many ways uh, make changes so that we can become a better society and better people. Tonight's show is special. Um, it is going to focus on a, a change in global environment um, and it is going to um, also look at how we can stay healthy, safe and secure in that changing global environment. And my very, very special guest who is going to be with me on, on this show is Ms. Gwen Carter. She's a North American and she has done extensive work in terms of uh, effective use of environmental resources. She, for the past seven years, she has spent a lot of time between Dominica and St. Lucia, where she has done a tremendous amount of research. She is a cultural scientist, and a lot of her work has focused on those environmental resources, which are available right here. She's also an author, and she is also um, very in tune to the global African environment and culture. So for this reason, I am very um, happy to have her as my guest. And I will go right into the show because it is a very interesting and exciting show. Um, very interesting in the sense that um, you, the viewers, will leave with a lot more information in terms of how you can take great advantage of what is right there in your environment so that you can be healthy, safe, and secure. And of course, the show is going to be focusing on disaster preparedness and relief. So my guest, Ms. Carter, is going to show us how not only be that we have a lot of those fantastic environmental resources, but she's also going to indicate how these resources can be used for disaster preparedness and relief. So let me especially welcome my guest, Ms. Gwen Carter. Gwen, thank you very much for joining me on the Gender Dimension this evening. Thank you, Flavia, very much for having me. I have been amazed with your work since being here. I'm very grateful that you love your St. Lucian sisters and brothers and others enough to bring them this valuable information. So thank you again for having me. Thank you. The pleasure is really all mine. And as I said, we're going to go straight into the matter. Um, Gwen has become uh, quite an expert on the use of those environmental resources. As you know, I have been, been taking quite a bit of time on the show these days to focus on um, ways that we can be, be healthy, strong, and secure. And this is just a continuation of it. Um, Gwen, as I said, is quite an expert. So I will let her um, begin by explaining some, uh, some of the natural resources that we have that can be used for that purpose. So you can go ahead, Gwen, and just explain some of what I know a lot of solutions are uh, viewing right now and listening and um, I would like to advise you to call your friends because we will be showing a lot of what this is one of those shows where we will be actually giving you and showing you on the screen what some of those things are that are in your environment that you can use for your own benefit so maybe you can just um, explain some of them right now for the viewers well Flavia first I'd like to tell you um, that I went into the studio and I recorded a DVD called A Changing Global Environment. And I'd like to thank Rex St. Lucia or St. Lucia Rex Resorts for sponsoring that. Um, the DVD itself will help people prepare. If in fact an earthquake, tsunami, or a hur hurricane disaster, volcano eruption, or anything come our way, and we are blessed to have our life left, there is nothing greater. However, I figured if that was to happen and everything was taken away, there are some things that we could have in our possession that will keep us safe. So what I did was I created a environmental um, waste pouch. And it's not just an environmental waste pouch, but as you said, I work basically with environmental resources. So basically what is in the pouch are environmental resources that you would not ordinarily think to have, uh, think to pack away. I see people run to the grocery stores whenever they hear it's gonna be a hurricane. And what I noticed is in places where disasters is so profound, 
all of the things that they bought in the grocery store and other places really become null and void. So I'm saying there are other places to shop and more valuable things to purchase for a disaster. And what I'm suggesting is that at the beginning of the disaster season, or even better yet, if two or three times a year you would repack refreshing your waist pouch not only did i do a waist pouch but i've also done a baby bib now everyone knows this pouch as something that we use when we are traveling we generally have our passport our money and other little essentials in it well this waste pouch is now going to become your changing environment global environmental healthy safe focus waste pouch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the things that will detoxify your blood if there's a disaster and feed you rejuvenate your blood cells and keep your mental and physical stability on so that you can recover from this disaster much faster now I started my project in Dominica uh, at searching for spirulina, my favorite resource in the water. Spirulina is 3.5 billion years old. It is actually a dark green sea algae. It has whole food B12, 2000 enzymes, the complete amino acid, B complex in general, as well as vitamin A, C. It is one of the foods that we say are 95% digestible, up to 70% protein. Taste very well to those that know it. It is the first green plant to give photosynthesis to the environment. Therefore, I believe it is in the sea everywhere. I have not found it anywhere. There are 35 varieties of it. When I was in Dominica, I was blessed enough not only to have permits to go into the sea and look for it, but I was given a beautiful, wonderful, modern laboratory to actually develop health and beauty formulas with, which I did, and I had a marvelous George Washington Carver experience doing that. Now, so you just, all call this limu. Uh, th that is what is known in St. Lucia as limu? Yes, but um, you need to know that limu is considered a word for fungus. You generally see the green stuff on the uh, beach or where the waters so may be So this would be dirty. found on the beach in St. Lucia? On the beach, in, but also in other places where there are rivers and lakes, you may find it also. It also grows in dirt. But 90 to 5% of the time, I find it in the water. And um, here, Would you have to go far into the water to no, find No, it's this laying or? on the beach 90% of the time okay. that we use. Um, the, the word limu, again, is a word used for fungus because this will be in an area where it will clean the water and then it's still further out which keeps the water very safe and clean. Now fortunately uh, V and E, your value um, your everyday value store, mm -hmm. it's a super value store right in town on uh, River Road and Marianne Street. They package this. You mean Riverside Road? Yes, Riverside, Riverside Road, Road. for as little as five dollars. This is the spirul spirulina. Spirulina, which is limu, the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's packaged. You can take a teaspoon, put it in a cup of water, or better yet, I love to put it in sugar cane juice. You